good morning children welcome to chapter 13 revision section today we will be discussing location of india its geological structure and physiography part 1 as a revision so we will be moving little fast get ready with your textbook notebook and map book we will start this is the world map here you could see our country india in yellow color and try to locate the suez canal which we want to study in this chapter the main points of this chapter india a place of cultural confluence india its location and size and area tropic of cancer the standard meridian of india area of india strategic location of india india and international waterways cs canal india states and union territories neighbors of india geological structure of the earth major tectonic plates three types of tectonic plates effect of movement of plates on earth physiography of india diversified and another main important topic of this section is map marking from this chapter you will be getting one question for marking the map of on the map of india here the main and important questions will be mark any one state any one union territory any one neighboring country of india arabian sea bay of bengal indian ocean tropic of cancer indian standard time and the longitudes and the latitudes let's discuss in detail a quick overview india a place of cultural confluence india holds a strong and unique position among the countries of the world it is a very large country with one of the oldest cultures of the world india has the largest democracy in the world due to india's rich culture and warm approach it has welcomed people of all the religion and race india has always remained neutral towards all religions people and races this is a unique characteristic of india owing to all these reasons it is said that india has become a place of cultural confluence the section this question you can expect for two mark question it is an important question for you next one is india's location size and area the main points here we are supposed to study is location of india northern india southern india length and breadth of india area of india first of all we will look about the location of india india lies in the northeast northern hemisphere the northern part of india extends till the southern part uh, peninsula part of asia it is a part of south central asia india is located between 8 degree 4 minute north to 37 degree 6 minute north latitude and 68 degree 7 minute east to 97 degree 25 minute east longitude the standard meridian of india which decides the local time of india it is the 82 degree 30 minute east it passes through five indian states the tropic of cancer located at 23 degree 5 minute north latitude which passes through the center of india it divides the country into almost two equal part that is north india and south india north india as you know its part spread more in east and west direction north india contains himalayan mountain range and the large plains now about the south india the area of the south of tropic of cancer is in the triangular shape it tapers on one more southwards arabian sea is located in the left indian ocean bottom and bay of bengal on the south part of india 
and the three sides are surrounded by water hence it is called a peninsula the peninsular plateau includes eastern plains that lie on the eastern side of north india and the narrow western coastal plains that lies on the western side of the south india now talking about the length and breadth uh, in terms of latitude and longitude india extends in same in north south and east west direction that is it extends on almost 30 degree on both side the north south length from kashmir to kanyakumari is about 3214 km and east west breadth that is from gujarat to arunachal pradesh is 2933 km and about the area of our country india spread in an a total area of 32.8 lakh square kilometer it ranks 7th in the world in terms of area which are the other countries larger than india first one is russia followed by canada usa china brazil and australia okay now another one is tropic of cancer what do you mean by the tropic of cancer the latitude located at 23 degree 5 minute north and passing through the center of india is a tropic of cancer it divides india into almost two equal parts that is north india and south india next the standard time and standard meridian this you can expect uh, for explaining the terms explain the terms there you should study about tropic of cancer standard meridian and uh, the standard time in this map you will be able to find out the longitudes and the latitudes the neighboring countries are marked here for example come to the longitude see 68 degree 7 degree north latitude till 68 degree 7 degree is 7 minute east longitude okay now about the latitude 37 degree 6 minute north latitude to 97 degree 25 minute east longitude clear now see the distance between kanyakumari to kashmir that is about 3214 km from gujarat to arunachal pradesh we are having a distance of 20 2933 km hmm? now see the tropic of cancer that is 23 degree 30 minute north latitude tropic of cancer this all will come for map marking now come to the standard meridian or standard time of india that is at 82 degree 3 minute east longitude to 82 degree 3 minute east longitude see at passing through uh, mizoram and all see the center part that's a standard meridian of india which are the neighboring countries of india starting with pakistan china tibet nepal bhutan bangladesh myanmar sri lanka okay now which are the oceans arabian sea indian ocean and bay of bengal now andaman nicobar islands in bay of bengal lakshadweep in arabian sea these all are part of india okay another important question which we are having here it is that india has an important strategic geographical location the three big oceans namely arabian sea indian ocean and bay of bengal surround india from the three sides hence large and natural waterways joining india with other countries have developed since ancient time after the opening of suez canal in 1869 the distance between india and europe have reduced that is almost 7000 km also the journey from asia to europe has reduced by about 6500 km due to the circum africa waterway The sea routes to east and southeast Asia and Europe via Africa passes through Indian Ocean. This encourages the development of trade between India and Europe. From the east of India, after crossing Malacca Strait in Malaysia and then Pacific Ocean, one can reach Canada and US. Moreover, air routes connecting many countries passes through various parts of India. Thus, India has an important strategic geographic location. This you can expect as a short note as well as give reason so study according to that 
India and International Waterways or what is India's benefit because of the opening of Suez Canal. Already we have discussed in the previous question. So go through it seriously. In this map of India, you will be able to identify the 28 states and 8 union territories. See, it is very clear for you that in examination, any one state or any one union territory will be asking for marking in the map. So, study very thoroughly and see the map, uh, three oceans also it is marked there. Neighboring countries are also marked properly. Go through all these things very properly, clearly. In the second map, you can see Indian Standard Meridian and the Tropic of Cancer marked very clearly. In this map, the neighboring countries of India are asked. Which are the neighboring countries of India? Pakistan, China, Tibet, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. Try to locate the places and learn it thoroughly. Now we are moving to the next topic of this chapter that is geological structure. What do you know about the structure of the earth? The structure of the earth is formed of lithosphere and hydrosphere. The crust of the earth that is lithosphere floats on the semi-liquid rocks of the asthenosphere. Due to the <laughs> radioactive process during going on in the interior of the earth, heat is generated. This heat tends to reach the surface of the earth by generating convectional currents. The upward pressure of heat waves breaks the upper parts of the earth into very large pieces. These large pieces are known as the lithospheric plates or the tectonic plates. The high pressure and heat makes the tectonic plates float. Now, my second question is, how many tectonic plates are there in the world? We are having seven tectonic plates in the world. Which are they? Pacific plate, North American plate, South American plate, Eurasian plate that is Europe and Asia. Then African plate, Indo-Australian plate and Antarctic plate. Now we will discuss about the types of plates. Which are there are three types of tectonic plates. First one is divergent plates. The plate that move away from each other that is diverge away from each other. This is called a divergent plate. Second one is convergent plate. The plate that come closer to each other or converge towards each other. This is called a convergent plates. Third one is transform plates. When two plates slide against each other, they are called transform plates. Upper niche hota hai. Now, what is the effect of movement of plates on earth? The divergence and convergence in plates create folds and fault in the plate. These tectonic movements have been going on since millions of years, which in turn have changed shapes and locations of landforms continuously. For example, divergence or drifting away of tectonic plates result in volcanic activities on the earth. Wherever these plates drift away, fissures are created within landforms and oceans. Moreover, the con con continents situated along these fissures also drift continuously. Similarly, convergence or collision of these plates with one another has resulted into the formation of mountains. This is the way how Mount Everest and all have formed. Another important question of this section, why is the physiography of India diversified? Many times this have come for 2 mark, yeah, 3 mark or give reason. India has lofty Himalayan mountain ranges in the north. Many plateaus, 
summits and passes are also seen within them. India has several rivers like Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra, Narmada, Godavari, Krishna, etc. And these are some of the largest rivers. These rivers have brought alluvial deposits with them and form very fertile plains. India also has a very long coastline. Moreover, India is a peninsula. Arabian Sea lies to west of India, Bay of Bengal to the east and Indian Ocean to the south. Western Ghats are spread near the west coastline and eastern Ghats on the east coastline. India also has islands of Lakshadweep and Andaman Nicobar Islands. Thus, India has a very large and diversified physiography. Please go, go through this question thoroughly. Now, we will discuss some important give reasons. Iske alawa aur pohot sara give reasons aa sakta hai. Some important I am discussing with you. India has become a place of cultural confluence. Question number 2, India hold a strategic location in Eastern Hemisphere. Question number 3, international trade of India has become easier. 4, Peninsula Plateau is composed of lava. Question number 5, India benefited due to the opening of Suez Canal. Question number 6, international trade between India and Europe has become easier. Question number 7, Gujarat rises late than Eastern India. Here we are having some explained the terms already we have discussed this quest topics in today's session as well as in our previous section. Please go through this thoroughly and write it into your notebook. This is for one mark question. Here in the last section we are having answer the following questions. Two clips I am having with some important two mark and three mark questions. You can expect any of these questions from for your examination. Now, what we are supposed to do? We have completed the revision of this chapter. Please go through each and every clip in detail. Any doubt you are having, please go through the previous clips and make it clear. Next thing you are supposed to do is write this answers, especially give reason, explain the terms, answer the following questions into your notebook clearly with the heading revision. So with the full revision we will see in the next class. Till then study properly. Take care. Bye.